Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini My Team Grand Mate. Here today for part 58 for the Italian Grand Prix. By being our home Grand Prix as a team, we have a one-off special livery for this weekend's Grand Prix. But this is the grid then for the Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz has done the Defoti Proud and is on pole alongside Lewis Hamilton. Then it's Joe and we are P4, Lando and Valtteri Bottas, Max and Fittipaldi, George and Leclerc round up the top 10, Gasly and Sonoda, Pacher and Larch Stroll, Alga and Esteban Ocon, Albon and Logan Sargent, Oscar Piastri with a penalty is 19th alongside Kevin Magnussen, and then the final row of the grid is Nick De Vries and Liam Lawson. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the race, we're going to be doing a one stopper, starting on the softs going to the mediums, but into qualifying we had a very weird situation where Liam Lawson hits the back of Piastri and wipes himself out of qualifying. Never seen that before. This is our qualifying lap there, our final run, and it was only good enough for P4. So we're hoping to go forward in this race and maybe get back to winning race after what happened in Zandvoort with that penalty. But here we go then, the five would like to come on. And it's lights out, and away we go for the Italian Grand Prix. We've got a sensational start. We're past the Mercedes, we're into the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. That's not the start that the Fosi would have wanted. Down into the first chicane now, we lead. Just need to find the exit. We don't really look like we have. Carlos Sainz, he's on the back of us now. He wants to win in front of the De Fosi. Ferrari won the race last season, it was the only one. They say one last season. If you're looking to go back to back as we head through then the chicane and now round the Lesmos. So it's all over the back of us. We run a bit wide there going through. Now into the second one. And we're from wide we've dipped around into the gravel. Carlos Sainz is thanking very much. Rings on the lead of the Italian crowd break. The crowd are on their feet. As we head now into the Hiscari chicane. We've gone over the bump there, we're trying to find a way back through, but now we're going to be left on the road to Joe in the McLaren. He briefly led this Grand Prix, Sainz has disappeared up the road, up the straight. Now we're going to be left defending Joe as we run wide at the Parabolica, and Joe says thank you very much as well. And we're down to P3, what a dramatic first lap this has been. And now we're under pressure from Valtteri Bottas in, in the Red Bull we're going to swap through the dummy Brayley and retake P2 down into the first chicane now can we get back after the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz can this be a battle of the Italian teams for the win at Monza but Joe now alongside us it's a drag race down the straight we were trying to have a stay in touch with Sainz but Joe just doesn't have the straight line speed even with the DRS open for birds what's in this nearly contact there as we really slice over the front of the McLaren and he's left vulnerable now to Bottas but Joe keeps him behind and that has given us a bit of breathing space to get away from the McLaren and we're now just hunting after Carlos Sainz and lap 5 we just couldn't quite get close enough we were inside the DRS we just couldn't get close enough to have a go at the Ferrari and so now we've got to sit here wait our turn all those behind on mediums me and Sainz both on the soft so we're going those behind are going to go longer so they may have a pace advantage may catch us back up towards the end of the opening stint but this is the closest now we have really been to sites but we're still too far back to see the gap there which you can't find a way through half a second doesn't seem to be enough as we go through the lesmos this is we are getting closer though to the ferrari we're just eating away but once again head down the straight it's just too quick in the straight line compared to our Lamborghini, Joe Stein pulled away from Bottas behind and the Mercedes but now we are pushing hard 
but we've started to fall back into Joy now. Joy's quite upset. We, we're still keeping with science, but Joe just seems to have the pace on those medium tyres as we get towards, really, the opening stint of the Grand Prix. Joe thinks about it to the outside, but he's just a little bit too far back. Now, though, we need to push because we need to get the gap back out to Joe. So now it is all in with the pit window approaching. This is now the closest we've been to Carlos Sainz as we head down the back straight towards the final corner. Joe, though, is on the inside of us. Joe's going to take P2, even if it's briefly, but we chop him off once again. He backs out. We keep P2. Now, though, we are very, very close to Carlos Sainz. Can we have a look? Heading down the pit straight, we've got the DRS that's going to let us defend Joe. We're getting closer and closer to the Ferrari, and we're going to send it down the inside of Carlos Sainz. We'll retake the lead of the Grand Prix, the Defosi Sai, as we retake the lead of the Grand Prix. They want to see a Ferrari win, I want to see a Lamborghini win. It really is the battle of the Italian team. Let's now let's read the sky as you can. We've we won a little bit more than that's allowed science to re really overtake us and retake the lead of the car. Three. We're going to swap in the dummy and go sailing back around the outside at the parabolica. Science really has a loose rear in there, struggling with grip on the going through the final corner. But he has to straight away speed now to retake the lead of the Grand Prix. We're going to go to the inside outside. We're going to go back to the outside. He's now offline. As we say around the outside, that gives us the inside line. And now Joe is drag racing and he's got his nose ahead. Going through the car for Grande. They're side by side. Is it going to be a Le Grande move for Joe? They're still side by side. Who's going to back out of it? Joe's on the inside, he's backed out. Carlos Sainz keys P2. What racing here in Monza. And all that battering and has allowed us to pull out a gap, even if it was briefly, because behind us now, Sainz has re caught the back of us. Lap 12 though, this is going to be the lap we decide to pit, and we are going to be followed in then by Sainz. Joe continues on on his medium tyres. Now we can have a bit of a breather a minute from all the action that's gone on so far in this Grand Prix. As we trundle down the pit lane on to the mediums, we go, can we beat out the Ferrari? It's going to be close, it's going to be very close, but we do stay ahead of science. As we come out of the pits now, the team have found us a lovely gap to slot into. As there's a Ferrari in the background, Charles Leclerc in the background. He's going down the pit straight. Has he beaten out his teammate? No. So now then, lap 13. And Sainz is still all over the back of us. And in the background is Leclerc. As we run wide. And Carlos Sainz now is going to retake the net lead of the Grand Prix. They're side by side as we go through the parabolic of that. He's really trying to keep the pin around the outside. Sainz is jumping the door and he has to back out. As now we head down the pit straight, so he's going to go to the outside. This is Leclerc going through. There's Joe, he's gone through, he's ghosted through the McLaren. And we're going side by side with both Ferraris. Sainz and Leclerc now going wheel to wheel. We're going to try and get the exit. We've got a great exit, we're past one Ferrari, we've got to do the switch, switch back. We've gone down the inside of Sainz, we've got to go down the inside of. The car as well as we switched across the track. We retake the lead, the net lead of the Grand Prix and Ferrari have got the wrong Ferrari at the front of the queue. He still needs to pick this Charles Leclerc. But now is he gonna try and overtake us? He's got he's done the worst thing and overtake his teammate, he's getting closer and closer to the inside. He retakes the net lead, does Leclerc, and he massively backs out of it there. He's right on the inside of the track, and I think there's a bit of team order there. He's left back through his teammate, and now he may lose out to Joe, who's actually gone on to the hard tyres, but he's not giving up his 
is Leclerc. Sainz is really squeezing to the inside, but he's had to back out. On that occasion, here now is Sainz. Sainz goes to the inside. He retakes the lead. The net lead doesn't go out, but we're going to keep it to the outside. We're going to break a bit earlier this time, though. He's on the inside. We've caught him offline. And now it's all about the exit. As we head up to the second chicane, round the curve of Grande we go. In the background, there's contact. That's Fittipaldi. He's out of the Grand Prix. He's now with side by side with Sainz. We're just ahead to safety cars deployed. We've had to back out of it, we've handed Sainz the lead. I don't really think we were ahead then, but the game didn't think so. So, after an intense, great battle with both of the Ferraris, Joe getting in the mix as well, that's a great bit of racing that, but I do think we should be in the lead of the Grand Prix now. We really shouldn't have had to give the place back. To science. This is what happened though with Fittipaldi. He's got past the Alpine, then heading down the straight, he's had a bit of a wobble and gone into the back of the other Alpine and gone flying across the track into the barrier. That's his day done. This is what it was like from the Alpine's point of view. He's just turned into the side of him. And now this is the Ockham's point of view, so it was Gazi coming out of the pits and nearly. Could have very nearly get, got collected there, does the hook on. But back to what happened earlier with Leclerc driving through Joe. You can see there he ghosted. And really, that's what, sh as we just saw with Fittipaldi, that's what should have happened to Leclerc. I, the game's going to show whether it was at the high speed, but you can see here they are right in between each other. That's the site I don't think you thought you was going to see before you started watching this race. But anyway, Fittipaldi is out. That could have been a lot, lot worse, that crash. As we come on then to the end of lap 17, we're going racing again. The debris has been cleared and now we're going to be straight after that Ferrari. The battle of the Italian teams is well in the way here and it continues Sainz puts his foot down we're back racing for the Italian Grand Prix we're all over the back of the Ferrari we're going to go to the inside we've forced him offline once again this time he's gone deep he's gone deep we're going to try and turn back it's all about the exit once again here as now we head towards the Cars of Grande in the second chicane we're very very close to the back of Sainz we're going to try and go to the outside try and make him in a defensive shape but we're just too far back going into the second chicane we're gonna have to hold on for now and continue to stare at the back of that ferrari now coming out of the final corner and down the pit straight we've dropped back once again from sides is in the background the ferrari of leclerc is slowing down as we nearly come under pressure from joe it's all gone wrong for one ferrari Charles Leclerc really should have been out earlier on in the race with that joint incident with Joe, but he is out to the race now. And now we are going for it down the inside of Carlos Sainz, retake really the lead of the Grand Prix. Sainz is going to try get back to the inside of us, but he can't, he's too far back. As we head into the, the Lesmos, he's all over the back of us though, is Sainz, as we head down the back straight. Is he going to be close enough though to have a go into the Hiscari chicane? I don't think he is. He's going to come under pressure from Joe. Is Joe going to try and go around the outside? Yes, he is. And up into P2 in this Grand Prix. And now we're under pressure. Joe's trying to go to the outside of us there. Back into the Hiscari chicane. We're running a bit wide. We're going to be a sitting duck now as we head up the straight. Joe to the outside. Joe. He's briefly in the lead of the Grand Prix. We're side by side. Sainz is coming under pressure from the Red Bull. And the Mercedes are battling there as well. But we're on the back now of Joe. Joe has taken the lead off the Grand Prix. He would have thought of that a couple of laps ago. But can I go to the outside though? We're going to punch a hole for Sainz. He's going to follow me through. And Joe loses both places there. He's dropped from the lead to third. And now it's back. Game on. 
between the Italian teams goes down the inside the inside he has to back out of it and that's going to leave him vulnerable now to the McLaren unless he's having a go at us now he is going to be vulnerable to the McLaren but he's also going for our nurse Joe's had to back out of it and now Sainz is practically pushing us around the final corner to have a go down into turn one with one wide and Sainz retains the lead of the Grand Prix and now he's going to our rest we're going to sit in his literal we need to be mindful of Joe as we nearly go into the side of him and now heading down into the first corner, we're going to chop him off. Sainz is out to correct the oversteer and he's driven into the side of the McLaren of Joe. And does he have damage for that? As now Joe is going to look to find a way past, going through the car for Grande. He nearly pulled it off earlier on in the Grand Prix, but he's too far back this time to have a go at the Ferrari. And that's allowed us that little incident nothing dirty about that he's allowed us to pull away and he's been done by two cars there as Sainz does he have a damage he's lost out to Joe he's lost out to Verstappen where's Verstappen come from in this Grand Prix he's now wheel to wheel this is Joe and where's Verstappen Verstappen takes P2 in the Grand Prix but Sainz must have a big issue he's going backwards as now he's left defending the other McLaren, Lando Norris, round the outside and the chicane. Can the sides get the exit? As we head through the car for Grande, Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, sorry, is having a go if, if he can find anything from these two battling, he's too far back. Sides hangs on for now, but he's dropped from battling for the lead all the way down to P5 and now the Joe Verstappen battle is going to continue as we head down the pit straight we've now pulled a fairly big margin for those behind around two seconds we were cruising now and around the outside Max keeps the McLaren behind and now Lando Norris this time is past Carlos Sainz as now look at Lando he's pulled away already that Ferrari has big, big damage. Have they had to turn the engine down because of Leclerc? And does he have front wing damage because of the incident with Joe? He's been done by both. Mercedes out through the Hiscari chicane. He's dropped all the way down to P7 from battling from the lead of the Grand Prix. Lap 25. He's coming into pressure. He's been done by Bottas round the outside of the Cave Grande but Max and Joe are still going at it as they really did start to make him way back into us. Joe really takes P2 and now this is Sainz well, lap 26 of lap 27 and Hamilton is past there as now this is Sonoda in his Alfa Romeo past then the Ferrari is dropping like an absolute stone now as Carlos Sainz is gone from looking so good for Ferrari starting on pole, fighting for the win and now it's all gone to pop for him as they're side by side Sainz has got the straight line speed on on the Alfa Romeo he goes to the outside but he's had to back out of it and now he's going to be left vulnerable to the Alpine but he is going to have the RS on the Alfa Romeo as we go on to the final lap of what's been in a thrilling Italian Grand Prix we're going to go to the inside of Sainz to the outside goes the Alpine the Alpine's going to sail around the outside but now it's a traction race off of turn two they're side by side can Gasly get ahead? Sainz is still just in front as we head into the second chicane. Sainz is going to have to back out. Sainz loses another position in this Grand Prix. He's down to P10. Meanwhile, though, we went out in the Italian team battle and we are going to win the Italian Grand Prix. There it is then, victory in the Italian Grand Prix, a historic race and an achievement they can be immensely proud of. Talk to me Ant, what was it that set them apart from the competition today?
I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Here comes your top three, making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. So then, what a Grand Prix. Lamborghini, V Ferrari and Lamborghini come out on top. The battle of the Italian teams, the Defosi not getting their Ferrari win in the end. Science dropping like an absolute stone after the contact with Joe and we really forced him to the inside. And out of nowhere, Max Verstappen somehow managed to finish P2. Joe was always lingering throughout the entire race so fair play to him to get on the podium. He really did deserve that to be fair. But it all just went to pop for Ferrari. Leclerc having that issue really should have retired and he ghosted through Joe. But Leclerc having his issue and then the contact with Joe maybe the mix with front wing damage and maybe Ferrari saw the same issues with Sainz and had to do the same and turn Sainz's engine down which is why he dropped back so drastically in the closing stages of the Grand Prix. Piastri though, we win once again and he has another pointless Grand Prix. He needs to sort it out. I'm starting to think about next season now. He was so good in the second half of last season but he just hasn't got it this year. The two retirements then of the Grand Prix of course Leclerc and Enzo Fittipaldi after that big big crash on the main pitch straight in terms of the drivers world championships now after what happened last night at Zandvoort when we finished p3 on the road but that chaotic Grand Prix with the contact with Ocon and Joe meant we got a penalty and finished 15th we bounced back after that Max won that race last time out in Zandvoort so we've gained some points back on him but in finishing P2 in this race it hasn't really helped that gap though he's still 48 points then it's the two Mercedes then Piastri P9 and there's just three drivers now who are still yet to score this season both houses and Logan Sargent in terms of the constructors then and we've closed the gap to Mercedes to just two points the constructors are going to be difficult we're going to have to keep winning if Piastri is going to be so terrible we will see what happens your only team though who haven't scored a point this season is Haas so that's been your Italian Grand Prix and I hope you have enjoyed it absolutely classic of an Italian Grand Prix we won out in the battle of the Italian teams we go to Singapore next and I'll see you then goodbye